Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today we will talk about the new multimedia system of the uh, Volkswagen ID3 and probably ID4, ID5 or whatever electric car come next uh, from Volkswagen. And I want to show you and start up with the cockpit here and I want to show you guys. I know you're really, really curious to see that. Uh, I think in my opinion, it is a great, great system. And to be honest, you have a great visibility right here on the screen. The fact that they designed this multimedia system directly to the driver a little bit. You have a fantastic visibility from the driver point of view and also the head up display. It's gorgeous. You have on the head up display, I think you can see it right there. You can see the speed, the speed limit, traffic speed limit sign. I cannot show you now because it's not on the street, but you see the navigation and also uh, the speed and the, the, the display it's quite good you have nice colors great brightness now also you can see here the new <laughs> cockpit it's integrated with this gear shifter right here i think you already know it uh from volkswagen if you didn't see the full review check out my full review on my channel uh, i will talk a little bit more about that but now all i want to say it's here you have the gear shifter information when you change the different gearbox then you have here the navigation you have the speed uh current speed and also the speed limit sign will appear here and here the adaptive cruise control and stuff it's a simple design uh you can control from here for example you can change from those buttons right here on the steering wheel you have kind of a touch screen buttons and stuff like that they are pretty interesting the way they design it Volkswagen they make a great job with them and you can control from here different stuff so you can see different things from here you can change different stuff actually it's not so complicated that like you find it in other cars it's super simple uh, the things that you can change it but the fact that it's simple it's make it perfect because it has all you need right here and the visibility is good and this is all that matter the colors are nice the resolution it's nice you have a nice brightness and uh, the colors are quite good so uh, you don't have any problem for example now it's a lot of Sun outside and the visibility it's still amazing uh, yeah now I think this is all uh, here you can also control the, the cruise control and stuff like that, adaptive cruise control. You can activate it, you can deactivate it from here, pretty simple, and you can have it right there, the different modes, you can change it, cruise control mode and stuff like that. So yeah, also you can see how, how many kilometers you can still drive with the car and yeah, anyway, now going forward guys, here, by the way, when you go in, in in drive mode you can see already you can see uh, when the car it's a regenerate energy or when the car uh, use energy it's on the blue also when you go in a reverse going in a reverse you have this amazing camera with great resolution uh, you have great visibility in the back uh, so also the parking button it's right here press the park the car in some park now uh wait a second now let's go to the multimedia system it's very well integrated as i said here in the middle and you have some shortcut button here for example one shortcut button it's for the parking menu so here you have the reverse camera and all that uh different options you can change for example the camera the way you want to see it the brightness and also you can go in settings and change different parking uh, controls braking and stuff like that and the uh, sound now going to the climatic system here on the climatic system a shortcut button is pretty simple just press it just turn it on and turn it off very simply from here uh, the climatic system you have also heated steering wheel here the button and heated seats for you and a passenger also you can use a uh, dual climatic for you and a passenger of course and yeah from here you can adjust different stuff also the car come with smart climatic system here the fog windows and cool my feet fresh air rapid cooling and stuff like that this is something new and super interesting to see in a car air care here of course you have the air care uh, the same that you see it on um, Skoda for example uh, they bring it first time and now it's also in the Volkswagen great great uh, system 
Now, now we are finished with the climatic system. Then you have the next button. Let me close that. The next button will be let me close this as well because they are like an application this is like a tablet they will stay open in the background you have to close it all the time uh, we have the assist shortcut buttons on the assist shortcut button here is the IQ drive all that uh, fancy safety feature you have it here speed limiter lane assist adaptive cruise control all these features and stuff you can adjust it pretty simple side assist uh, dynamic road sign display, driver alert, echo assist, front assist, emergency assist, all kind of assistance systems here you can adjust it. And now that we are finished we have to close this and then you have also the fast uh, shortcut button for heated seat, you have the echo mode and stuff like that. Then uh, here is the, the menu, kind of a home screen. You have the navigation, you have the Bluetooth phone, the vehicle, the telephone. You can go left, you have here also information about the consumption, about the last driving, uh, how much you consume and stuff like that. You have the radio, the settings there, no telephone connection. And then the first screen, this is the main, this is kind of the menu here. You press this button, you go into menu. In the menu, you have telephone, radio, navigation, vehicle, sound, background, help, settings, and then the driver assist, you already see it, legal and climatic system. Uh, now, I want to show you on the settings here. You can change the language of the screen, of the screen and of the car. You can change the diet, theme, screen, offline mode. You can go to units, you can change the units, kilometer, miles, uh, volume the way you want to change it the way you want to see the temperature and stuff like that uh, you can change voice control data connect mobile device restore it to factory system information and all that stuff on the settings help here you get help about the car about the menu about the car and stuff like that background colors here you can change the background colors you can change whatever color you want this is super cool you can have the car in which ever color you want first color second color you can change it blue here's the, the blinkers and just leave it like that now uh, those are the colors and also you have an ambient light inside the car you cannot see it now because it's day but yeah it's pretty cool the background the sound here you go in sound you can change the focus where you want the sound to hear the volume and different stuff uh, about the sound the sound is also good I'm sorry I cannot show you but it's quite quite good now going forward guys you have the vehicle vehicle is pretty cool here you have the charging information when you charge the car you can set the limit of the charging wait a second let me close that you can charge set the limit of the charging 90% 80% percent and continue to follow the way you want it usually they now recommend to charge it till 80% don't charge more than 80% if you want to last the battery will last longer between 20 and 80% is the perfect charging place location vehicle information here you have the interior information head up display for example you can change the brightness you can activate deactivate from here driver assist vehicle report whatever you want to see in the head up display you have a lot of stuff to see in the head up display it's really interesting it's, it's a good head up display as i told you in my review the cockpit here you can change different stuff on the cockpit id lights roof interior light because the car have a roof quite interesting check out my other video with the full review there you will see it comfort light here it's about light tell you the exterior light the way you want to see it how many seconds switch on switch all and stuff like that mirrors and headlight and not only that but you have the brakes of course there the brakes you have the center locking the windows you have so many wipers service position wipers and stuff like that tires even the tires pressure and stuff you can go into every single things to see it here speed warning and stuff like that anyway here you have some buttons for the climatic system if you wanna turn it on and off you can change the temperature very simple from here you can also have the volume of the audio and here is for the passenger so keep in mind it's, it's kind of nice you put the finger you go left and right and you can adjust different settings there cool uh, let's go forward guys status here of the car if you have errors and stuff like that and then the data 
on the data you have all kind of information about the consumption how much the car consume in the last trips and stuff like that going back we have the navigation one of the best navigation uh, is the same that you find it on the most expensive Volkswagen it doesn't have any log lag at all so it works super smooth it has 3d map so you can see the stadium the buildings and stuff like that 3d 2d all kind of stuff it's working perfect the resolution uh, the visibility from the driver point of view it's it's gorgeous I mean you have a great resolution uh, and great visibility also you can change different stuff here you can see the stadium right here as I said it's a 3d map so it's 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 great the map it's great you have the settings down here to change different settings of the navigation don't want to go too much into details as well but the navigation is quite quite good and you can set it very simply and also on the navigation you can see how much the car can drive right now so you have this nice thing that you don't have in many cars so you can see how many kilometer and until where you can go with the car with how much battery it has right now so if you want to go here and bezel it will be no problem so I think you understand the idea so if you press there you press start and the car will calculate Please and it will the go directly there meters. yeah now turn sharp left and continue Great. to follow stress. let's go forward radio and media I know everybody know that Bluetooth and stuff like that you can connect right, your phone thinking. without any problem right there I don't want to hear anything from there and the telephone of course you can control you can connect your telephone without any problem right here so that's that's awesome I think I show you almost everything guys if you have question please feel free to ask me in the comment mode and stuff like that also you have the auto hold right here you can activate and deactivate the auto hold from here just keep in mind this is also on the screen it's not on the uh, on a physical button so anyway that was the review guys with the multimedia system i hope you really enjoy it uh if you want to see the full review with the new volkswagen id3 check out on my channel there you will find uh the review and also the test drive i have a few videos with the car check it out thank you for watching like it share it subscribe and i wait you soon in the next one uh bye guys